for the, yeah. the pus. Okay. See, now this is definitely pus coming out. See the color, Jenny? Yes, sir. You got a culture egg for us, Gumby Jenny? I do. Let's get a culture egg going on that. And you can always tell the color. You know, some of these wounds, these, these uh, epidermoid cysts will have liquid in it, but they're, it, it's not pus, okay? When it's this creamy yellowish kind of stuff, oh, yes. that's definitely pus. So we're just slowly applying pressure because we don't want this to go flying out and get into Jenny's nose. Right, Jenny? <laughs> My crazy Asian nose. Your crazy Asian nose. <laughs> you haven't even seen the movie yet. You're not no, allowed to you. use it yet. Whoa, look at that. That was, that was oh, oh, gotcha. That's what I get for not wearing something on my sleeves. What got on your... You got on my hand. Hairy arm. Yeah, thanks, oh. Jenny. All right. Gonna feel better after this, my friend. Looking good. This is a good video. Yeah, yeah. You know, the good thing is, is this is, does not have a terrible odor. I expected it would be pretty strong. Yeah. I'm gonna open this a little bit larger now. A little bit bigger opening. You feeling anything, bud? No. You're just feeling the, the pressure, right? Yeah, that's right. We're gonna need a couple of those really large uh, cotton-tipped applicators, Gummy Jean. Really large? The really large ones. You don't the pap smear one. Yeah. <laughs> well, I wasn't gonna say that, but... Yeah, I didn't wanna say it. <laughs> I guess Jenny did, so... It's very... Yeah, we're just squeezing out more now. So we want to definitely get in there and open this up more. This has got a pretty big space in here, numbers. Did you feel a little something there? Yeah. Okay. When, she, when Gumby gets back, I'm gonna add a little bit more medicine. I think I just got into an area that wasn't uh, quite anesthetized. Anesthetized. There we go. I just know I'm a target right here. Yes, perfect. We don't want you in pain. I mean, we want to have a good time and everything, right? But we don't want you to suffer. Besides, your girlfriend needs a good video, right? Yeah, she's definitely going to watch this. Yeah, that's what I want to hear. <laughs> I'm not watching this. <laughs> oh, come on. Your own cyst? Uh, yeah. Infected? Your own infected cyst and you're not even going to watch it? Mm -hmm. Come on, man. All the pain, the blood, sweat, and tears. You yeah, man. Come on. No. <laughs> Well, you don't have to. That's the beautiful thing about it all. He said he don't want to bring up old stuff. <laughs> <laughs> he don't want to live in the past, right? Yeah. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff in there. Jenny, don't let me get in the way, okay? I'm saying. All right. I have my view very clear. We have a cure at. We're just going to work some of this out of here. We don't expect to be able to get all of the sac out because of the infected nature of the wound. The fact that the anesthesia does not work as well when there's a uh, concomitant infection. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna scrape as much out as reasonably possible here and then we're gonna pack this wound and let it heal from the inside out and hopefully this won't come back. How are you feeling? Feeling better now, buddy? Um, I'm good. Good. Kind of looks like sack there, but there's scar material in there. Yeah, that's just scar. A little bit of sack. Oh. Gotcha? Yeah. Okay, we won't go over there. Okay. Work over here a little bit. Let's try uh, casings right here. This still feels kind of full, Jenny. Do you think there's anything else in there? Or maybe. just a sack, maybe? More of the inflammation that we're dealing with. Let me have one of the small. We're not ready to pack yet. I want to do a flush first. Yeah. Make sure we don't have any loculations. The loculation just means a pocket. 
I know you're a little tender on this side over here, so I'm not gonna push very far. Take a deep breath for me, bud. I think we've, we've given you about 10 cc's, so. There we go, okay. Let's pack this now. I really don't, I really don't believe we have anything else in there. No, we don't. There's nothing left in there. It's just a little bit of edema. Okay, let's get the pack. More? Yeah, we're gonna need more. Yeah, that's good. Cut that. Thank you kindly. Can you see all right, Jenny? Yes, sir. All right, so now we're packing iodoform gauze in here, numbers. This is gonna help this wound stay open and heal from the inside out. You got a lot of kind of fragile uh, sac material. I don't know how much of a cyst you had before this got infected. It's really difficult to say, but I can tell you, it looks like there's some scar tissue in here, so this may have been here a while. Take a deep breath for me, bud. Yeah, I don't want you to feel pain, but I've also given you lots of numbing medicine, and just because the infection's not working very well, so the best thing we can do right now is just get this done quickly. Which we're doing. He's, he's doing deep breath. Good. He's doing great. He's doing great. He was hurting. That's why he came back. Yeah, he came back sooner. Started. We were going to give this more time so that we could do a, a nice sack removal and everything. He's like, I can't deal with the pain. And the size, too. The fact that it was so big was pushing against your clothing and everything, right? Yeah. Pushing against the seat when you'd sit, that kind of thing. Yeah, lean down. And he right. couldn't work out. He's more worried about the working out part than anything yeah. else. All right. So, oh, we didn't do the flush. Well, that's no fun. So we're going to put a dressing over this and see you back tomorrow. Okay, buddy? All right. Stay real still. There we go. So everybody can kind of see what that looks like. Oh, we'll hide the tattoo. Mm -hmm. All right, Numbers, thanks for letting us do this on camera. I have no preparation at all. Tell us about Meta7. I started taking it about six months ago. It has totally changed my life. I uh, lost 35 pounds, uh, was sitting on the couch all day long, um, had no energy whatsoever. Now I can't sit down. Um, so it's really working for me. I hope it works for everybody else. You can, you can sit down, you just don't want to. I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man, and you're here for another bottle, right? Yes, sir. All right, fantastic. How's your uh, clarity and focus? Uh, as Are far they as, better? Oh, yeah, as far as the brain? Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, I can think if better. If I only had a brain, I think, right? Think, I can think better and... Um, Good. All around is helping me out. Do you feel shaky, jittery, or anything like no, that? No, not at all. Fantastic. We're going to hook you up, bud. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Hey, folks. You spoke and we listened. Here's what you had to say about Meta 7. I love it so much. It gives me so much energy during the day. I've noticed a change in my hair, my nails, my blood pressure. There's no doubt that it, it's, it's a benefit to me. It gives me more stamina and it could actually help you lose weight. Now, I haven't taken a nap in six months. That's right, Meta7. More and more people are sending in their testimonials. Weight loss, more energy, and generally feeling more alert during the day. Let's hear more. I used it to help wean myself off caffeine and energy drinks, and my productivity has been very high lately. It's natural, it's amazing. I feel motivated to get out and do things that I didn't before. I'm not tired during the day. I've worked 12 hour shifts. Just go, go, go all day. It makes me feel great, I love it, and um, take it. It's wonderful stuff. If you haven't tried Meta7 yet, it's time to order yours from Amazon. Time to boost your metabolism and kick your energy level into high gear. There's an Amazon link in the description.